Rick, 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 Ricky, Ricky Raccoon. Rick, 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 Ricky, Ricky Raccoon. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining Ricky Raccoon and Noah today. And today we're going to talk about the letter D. And D says D. Right, Noah? Show me, what does a capital D look like? Ooh, there it is, capital D. What does a lowercase d look like? Let's see. Oops. Oh, there it is, the lowercase d. All right. And we know that d says d. We also know that d is a consonant in the alphabet, isn't it? It's not a vowel, it's a consonant. So today we're going to talk about words that start with the d sound. But before we talk about the words that start with the d, d sound, we better learn how to make a perfect capital D and a lowercase d. To make a capital D, I know that it's going to be a tall letter. So I am going to start at the top line because all capital letters start at the top, right? Where do you start your letters at the top? When I am making my best capital D, I make sure that my left hand is holding the paper and my right hand is holding the pencil or the marker in this case. And if you are left-handed, then you're gonna do the opposite. But here I go, I start at the top and I draw a straight line down, pick up my pencil, and curve over. And there is my capital D. When I make my lowercase d, I'm going to pretend like I'm making a C, so I'm gonna start a little bit below the dotted line, and I know that lowercase d is tall, so watch me. I'm gonna do one stroke. So I'm gonna start here right below the dotted line, curve up and around like a C, go the whole way to the top, trace it back down, and give it a little kick. Here we go, here's my capital D again, capital D, and my lowercase d. Now it's your turn to practice making a capital D and a lowercase d at home. So Noah, tell us, what did you find that has the d sound in it? Dollar. Dollar. The word d, d, dollar starts with the letter D. And that's not a real dollar, though, is it? No. no, but it is a dollar bill. And we know the word dollar starts with a D. 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 Very good. All right. What other um, items did you find that have the D sound at the beginning? Ooh. Dime. A dime. A dime, and we know dime is also another form of money, isn't it? Yeah. How much is a dime worth? Um, ten cents. Ten cents. And that's not a real dime because we know a real dime would be much smaller, right? Yeah. We know dime, dime, little and thin. I remember your worth? Ten. Ten. Awesome. All right, what else do you have, Noah? It has the d, d, d sound at the beginning, like dime. Door. A door. You found a little Lego door. And door, d, d, door starts with a d sound. Do you think Ricky can fit in that door? No. Ricky, what do you think? No. No, way too little, isn't it? Oh. Uh, yeah, that's a little door for your Legos, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, door, d, door. All right, what other items do you have, Noah, that have the d sound in them? Oh, wait, listen, what do you hear now? What do you hear? Drum roll. Was that a drum roll? And a drum starts with the D sound, doesn't it? It actually starts with the D-R blend, dur, but I still hear the D at the beginning of the word drum. Do you hear it? Yeah. All right. Okay, all right, sorry about that. Drum roll there. All right, Noah, I know you found some animals that have the D sound. What other animals... Do you, oh, there we go. You have a deer. deer. And you know what else you have on your shirt? Look at your shirt. There are some animal prints, and I see the deer footprint right there. And the deer starts with the d sound. And a deer that has antlers is actually called a? Um, a fawn? A fawn is a baby deer. 
but a deer with antlers is called a buck. Good. So the daddy deer is the buck, the baby deer is the fawn, and the mommy deer starts with a duh. What's the mommy deer called? Um, Dawn? Not a Dawn, but a doe. A doe. The word doe is also a duh sound, has the duh in the beginning. Okay. All right. So what other animals did you find that start with the D, D sound? Another animal. What is it? A donkey. A donkey. And look, Ricky, you know, donkeys are found on the farm and Ricky likes to go visit the farm. Don't you, Ricky? Yeah. And a donkey can be found on a farm. D, D, D. Donkey. All right, Noah, what other animals do you know that have the D at the beginning of the word? We're looking for D, 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 D. A dog. A dog. And the word dog, D O G, starts with the D sound. Dog. Ooh, and this is a happy dog, isn't it? Oh, it's Ricky's friend. Look, Ricky, it's your friend Skippy. The dog. All right. Okay, some more animals, Noah. What else do you have? Whoops, there goes your friend Skippy. Ooh, let's see here. Noah has a pretend animal here, but it's still an animal. It's a dragon. Dragon starts with the duh. Ooh. This looks like a dangerous dragon, doesn't it? Look at this dragon. Ooh, and it moves too. Ooh. Dangerous dragon. Both begin with a duh. Dangerous duh dragon. Duh. All right, Noah. Okay, show me that last animal that you have that also starts with the duh sound, and it's a... Dinosaur. Dinosaur. And the word dinosaur begins with a duh sound. Don't worry, Ricky. You don't have to be afraid. Oh, I bet Ricky's still shaking from that dragon. But dinosaurs are extinct. What does that mean, Noah? If a dinosaur is extinct, what does it mean? Dead. It means dead. That's right. And the word dead starts with a duh. <laughs> but extinct means no longer alive, no longer living. Would I ever find a dinosaur if I went outside? No, no more dinosaurs. They are extinct. You might find extinct. their bones. Ooh, you might find their bones. That's right. And if I was going to find their bones, I'd probably have to dig. Dig. And dig is an action word. And it begins with a duh. So what kind of a word is dig? Um, a, um, action? A yeah. verb. A verb. It's a verb. A verb is a word. It's an action word. If you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. It's a verb. verb. Oh, speaking of verbs, everybody, Noah was practicing this word dive the other day. And let's see if we can watch a quick video here on Noah learning to dive because dive, d -d -d dive starts with a D. So here we go. Look at this. Whoa, Noah, I don't know if you could call that a dive. Would you call that a dive? No. No, what was it? A flip. More like a flip, but you know what? It was pretty awesome. And I'm really proud of you for trying to learn how to dive. And while you were trying to learn how to dive, you actually learned how to? Flip. Flip, so it's actually worked out really great, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that was Noah learning how to dive. D, 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 dive starts with the letter D. All right, thank you everybody for joining us today on our letter D, 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 d adventure. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, we are off with... Rick, 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 Rick